Hello. How are we doing, bro? Yeah. Not too bad. Good. I always hated that. Like with the last episode. I didn't hear Oh, sorry, go on. I, I edit this bit out. <laughs> I was just going to say that I hate it when she interrupts you in the middle of something. Oh, man. I hate interrupting people in the middle of something. <laughs> Whoops. I was just going to say. No, but she does it every single time, doesn't she? She does. I was going to say, um, like with our last episode, this is one where we also had some you hardware watch? issues. Watch? So we're redubbing this no. over Not that I remember. the video that we do have. Yeah. Hey. So as for that? why we made any of the choices that we did, well, we don't know. That was in the past. Topic. I can't remember the past. He had a heart attack. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? It was awful. I can't remember. What you You've been lying to me all this time? What? About your past, about your father. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Something's brewing, possibly trouble. Sure. A pocket watch, very valuable. Babe, I have no idea what you're talking about. Where'd you hide the watch? Will you stop with that? But she did hide the watch. I need to know what you did with the watch. I need to know. This no, wait, we're not meant to know that yet. Done Sorry. Is it watching? Is it watching us? What also, why don't they have a clock anywhere? What is they have this? a painting or a picture of an egg, but no talk. freaking clock. It does seem to be an egg. How do they tell the time? They are a good source of Omega-3. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> or am I thinking of fish oil with Omega-3? You're thinking fish oil. Oh, okay. It's cod liver oil tablets, isn't it? It's the horrible ones that are right greasy. Oh, yeah, they're like... Even before you bite into the capsule, it's right greasy and horrible. Yeah, they're like gelatinous, aren't they? Ooh. Yeah. I remember taking them in my youth. Oh, dear. Kind of like them... Oh, what was it now? Is it like bath soap that used to come in like little like... Oh, they used to look kind of like pebbles and they were squishy. Oh, yeah, like um, the liquid tabs you use for like washing and that. Yeah, but it, um, but, like, it was less like... plastic, eh? Yeah, it was less plastic. It was more like a little uh, pebble shape. And you used to be able to just squish them. And it would be like uh, bath soap that you would just, you know. Yeah, yeah I remember services. that. Um, but now we don't have those anymore for some I'm reason. So oh, oh, well. It's probably a good thing because... They were very My small, wife. and a Eight child could ago, definitely very father. easily eat them. I, um, I yeah, know if I know it might be life. something where, I, I don't know, depending on the coat, and there might have been right like bad for the environment yeah, or yeah, something. Right if it were like Sir, move plastic. To a safe place. I don't we're know, I'm not right sure. Could have just fallen out of fashion, that were like a mid 90s thing, were it? Yeah. Sir? But either way, you know, you wouldn't want a child to be one of those. It's like when they, when kids started eating Tide Pods and they used to have like burnt holes in their stomachs. Stuff and it's like, oh, it... yeah, man, it's all chemically and that. Sir, you don't want to be uh, chowing down Officers on that. There soon. It's too long. Mm. They will arrive as soon as and they have to put on the package. So don't eat these. <laughs> you know, because people are idiots. That's why they put it on silica gel, isn't it? Because somebody probably tried to eat it once. Oh, man. Can you imagine eating silica? I imagine it'd make you very sick eating silica gel. I don't know. I don't want to try it. I mean, that's like saying, oh, yeah, if you eat a cactus, like a raw, still prickly cactus, what? <laughs> it might make you ill. It might, but I don't want to find out either way. <laughs> like, spiky. Mmm, spiky. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> no. It's one of those. It's like, I don't want to try it and find out. So. No, it's, a it's like I found out there's a fish in... I think it's Australia. I'm not 100 percent sure. But if you stand on it, it basically kills you. <laughs> like instantly, if you, basically. What? If you stand on it, what is it like? A spiky yeah. fish or something? Like a puffer fish? Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's like in the corals and stuff, and it basically masks the oh, same, the and door. you'll basically die in like minutes because oh, of it. God. And I was like, oh, so it's that like okay. toxic. Oh god. Yeah. 
The storm's getting closer. I don't want to stand on that. Uh, oh, this is where I was trying to, like, go pry open the window or something with the knife and just wouldn't. It's like, why wouldn't you pry open a window and just climb out of it? You could get to... Um, it, it looks like one of those setups in America oh. where they Oh, here we go. The toilet bit. Can we put stuff yeah. in the toilet? You can... To uh, <laughs> toilet phone. <laughs> Then do we try and flush it? No, we go and stand in the shower. Yeah, we, we hide. Where else are you going to keep your phone? My, <laughs> I mean, this is, my thoughts there were, um, oh yeah, we we're going to pull water, pull water in. There isn't enough space. <laughs> and it's like, it's water in a mug. Um, I don't have enough space to drop that, pills, Paul. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so your pills in the toilet. Those pills must be huge, though, because if they don't fit down the new bag. I have a warrant. Open up. Bigger pain, bigger jar, bigger pills, Bruce. Yeah, you'd imagine they'd but get yeah, most it's... of the way around before clogging. Open the door now or yeah. I'll kick it down. That's just kind of sat there, isn't it? Chilly. Yeah. I mean, you do see those toilets but, um... with the kind of small openings, but they're usually a bit larger for obvious reasons. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's where I poured them down the sink to try and get rid of them. So they do flush. <gasps> Did the phone flush? I think, I think so. Either it broke. Um... <laughs> flush the keys down as well for good measure. <laughs> yeah. Police. Come on out. Oh, Willem Defoe's on the prowl. Che have you checked the toilet, I mate? Want for your arrest. What's going on? On the ground. Now. Don't move. Imagine <laughs> caressing a man in the shower. Oh, no. Also, looking at that there, what kind of shower doesn't have a curtain or something? <laughs> well, it's a thingy shower, isn't it? It's, um... Sure. It's Listen. like a built one, like not like what we have most of the time where it's like glass. It's just a section. It's like prison showers, like communal showers. Don't fucking don't have like a hands free. Oh, nasty way to go. Punched him so hard he went through the table. <laughs> I hate it when I get punched through Relax. tables, don't you? Yeah. Devon, get the tables. Oh, are you going to ring? Oh, no, we've not got a number yet. Yeah, never mind. It's so hard to try. Here on the emergency services, yeah. We have. <laughs> it's so hard having played past this point and then trying not to... Reveal what's already Listen, happened. I'm stuck in a time loop, and the loop restarts. I think we're doing. What you're saying is, it's like watching Return of the Jedi in Star Wars. New Hope. Yeah, I, I think we're doing a good job so far. He's got a gun. <laughs> he's gonna kill me and my wife. It's like when uh, Leia kisses Luke, and you're like, no, it's your sister, and it's like you can't. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah, he's he's fine with it at that time, and then he's like, oh, and he's just. Doesn't react about that. Just like, oh yeah, you know, she snogged, basically snogged me. Okay, cool. Not it's like, now. it's your sister. Okay. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Same deleted scene, just him on Falcon, just freaking out. <laughs> yeah, and him just brushing his tongue with like the loo, the loo brush off me. <laughs> it's like, you know, Chew clean it. out the filth with more filth. Chewie's just been after he's had a curry or something. He's like, ah. <laughs> Chewie, where's your airbrush, pal? I need to scrub my tongue. <laughs> hey, Chewie's got courage just matted into his ass. Because um, oh. you never see him wear clothes. Oh, like, man. You know, he's got to poop it somehow. Oh, man. Clear Why? Sky. <laughs> Why are you saying these words? <laughs> hey, just think. I don't like, want to sing. Ne Not if it's about that. He sits next to Han Solo and doesn't, like, you know, he's just got hair, so he can't wipe properly. You'd have to spray him down after every flush. I don't know, is <laughs> it non-human species? I'll probably have uh, evolved a, a it's technique also, for that. 
He's also like eight feet tall, but you know, he hasn't got a self wiping ball. Ooh, hey, you never know. Evolution's a great thing. Maybe that, maybe that's what Stupio's second job was on the Millennium Falcon, just to like wipe Chewie's heart. Do you need some more sheets of Andrex, Mr. Chewbacca? <laughs> that's what. That's why Chewie was always angry when um, when he was in pieces. He was just like, "Why? Who will wipe now?" And it's like R2D2 had the job, and he's just like haunted for the rest of his life. <laughs> this has got some weird. This has got some weird hole, like weird tangent now of like alternative Star Wars theory. That's not a hand. <laughs> Guess who has two thumbs and remember to pick Hey, there yeah, we go. You, you know, <laughs> you, you've got to imagine, like, you know. Mate, if, if that's Chewbacca where you're imagining to go, I, I don't want to go there, pal. <laughs> no, but he, he sat next to Han Solo every single day. Like, I felt so. I feel sorry for Han Solo. Imagine the poo stains that he'd have to have wiped up. Mm. You're just like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I might have had like matting or paper it's towels down. <laughs> no, like I'm, like, I'm like one of those disposable toilet, so toilet seats, just like just a cover for the <laughs> disposable <laughs> cover for the chair. It's just like throw that in this into space. Somebody just flies <laughs> past, gets a, gets a smearing of chewy poo all over the screen. Thwack. <laughs> yeah. Just whack. <laughs> oh. Goddamn space pigeons. Um. <laughs> Here's a thing. Would um, you know, on the uh, under the assumption that space flight's a real thing, as it is in the Star Wars universe, would you need a windscreen wiper? I mean, I'd say yes, because there's still small objects that are squishy oh, in space. Yeah, you know, like and there's a lot of space junk you... out there, isn't there? Yeah, and you need some sort of system in place to stop it from icing up because obviously space oh. is like freezing cold. Yeah. So you need to chill it. To... Yeah, so you, obviously, I don't know how, you know, windows on space stations work, personally. But there's got to have some sort of system where it stops from fogging up. You know? Yeah, you'd imagine um, so. And unless you want to stop every five minutes when you're trying to look out and see what's out ahead of you, because obviously you can't re rely on radar or oh, whatever. It's our song. You know, they had to play it all the time. You'd have to go out and wipe it up every like few stops, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's it. Don't is it radar that relies on like the uh, <laughs> magnetic field? To knock on a door. What are you talking about? I might be way off here. I'm, I'm sure Can there's dance. something. I don't know. That oh, does. So romantic. Might not be radar. All right. I don't know. I know satellite. Um, Ollie, they up. orbit the Earth, and it's Wait. in a point where they are him? stuck in the Earth's uh, gravitational pull, but not enough to pull them down to Earth. And with the police. Yeah, it's got to be like Turn a, around, a sweet spot. Aren't what? It? Me? Yeah. Yes, you. And then Hands it's like. Back. Let's go. Uh, Rotate with Hold the oh, staying position on the Earth. Rotate. I don't, I don't know. I'll do it exactly. Sure. Yeah, and there's like a, from what I hear, like a belt of general space debris that's orbiting the Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that various uh, space programs have sent up at various points. All right. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. You know, they sent, oh, uh, I think it was Russia that sent a dog into space and yeah. it never came back. Oh. I mean. When it, like in the, the space race sort of era, so like yeah. 50s, 60s, 70s sort of time. Yeah, it was, yeah. And so, did the they thing send that other I... animals up as well? Like monkeys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing that I wonder Emergency services. is. How these animals died first. There's somebody sending. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 15. did they die of starvation? Sir, get to it. Or, you know what? I didn't imagine not like, so. Starvation. It's not like they made like... them appropriate for them. No, because they, they wouldn't have made it, you know, there'd have been enough it's air just... unless there was you... just enough air to get them up there. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Are you that. And, they, like, you know, and then there's what? You've got to think. That 
Come down, Stuart. If they did, like, yeah. when they did send them up, and there's not enough food, the or they did send them up what? with enough food. My dad had a Was it the cold that did it? Because obviously they can't set the heat what? in exactly. Just, please. Okay. Let's talk. So, unless there were years ahead what, uh, with the, hey. technology that we're hey, accustomed hey. to now, what, what like being able to <laughs> turn your I, heat I, on I, through an app on your phone. How do I get her to say I want watch it? How would a dog use an app on its phone? No, but they do it remotely. Is what I was getting at there. I don't think they'd be able to do that somehow. Hey there. I mean, they barely were able to guide ships, were they? In a little bit. It's like, mm. you know. I like, don't know. You've, don't seen, know. Okay. you've seen Apollo, is it 11 or 13? One of them. The one where they orbit the moon and come back? Oh, I think it's Apollo 13 where they get the pod back to Earth using, like, duct tape and pencils or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen it. You know what I mean, though, don't you? Like, they barely tracked that. Sir, get to so, I doubt they've been able to go, Oh, yeah, don't worry. Doco will be safe remotely. We'll turn his heating on. No. Oh, I'm not sure. I've never really looked too much into it, to be honest. I bet it's really haunting if you do. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. What we need to do is contact the Soviet Union space program. The Soviet Union space program that's probably been disbanded for many, many years. Like the country. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, because the space program probably might, might have been taken over by Russia at that point, so it's possible that it still exists. Where's the one? And they would have records of it. But, at the same time, I doubt it. I don't know, we've not heard anything from uh, the, the Russians about sort of space flight. The cop, he's going to accuse you of killing. What? It's because nobody cares. He's so yeah. crazy. Nobody cares. Like, not very fashionable honest, the at the minute, is it? Yeah, exactly. Like, back then it was like, Can oh you? my god, we are the pinnacle of technology. Oh, look at Just this me. stuff. And it's like, I... now it's like, yeah, the pinnacle of, of technology is more home based and it's electric cars. Will you yeah. Just go to... That's Come on. about it. It's more about going, all the... saving the planet than yeah. escaping. Not going, the planet. E yeah, not, oh yeah, we're screwed. Enjoy. Even though people have been saying for hundreds of years that we're screwed, and it's like, oh, we are screwed. But now we can do something about it by using the same thing that's killing us to try and come up with an alternative way if it's not killing us. Yay! <laughs> and it, like, I get it, and it might work by buying us a few more years, but who knows? I don't know. If they haven't started it already, someone needs to get cracking on a uh, giant space arc. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's basically what Elon Musk did, didn't they, with SpaceX? Yeah, that's it. Oh, and sending Bill Shatner into space, good lord. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that was just a gimmick, wasn't it? Because he was uh, yeah, the thingy. Yeah. He was Kirk. He was the, the star man. The star Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't name the project that, I'm just disappointed. Uh, I'm just sending him to space. Uh, Have you, by uh, any chance, heard okay. any of... Okay. Uh, okay. William Shatner's spoken word albums. No, why? I, I implore you to do so. They're, there's something else. They're. <laughs> okay. They're, I was going to say they're good, but I don't think I can <laughs> quite I allow that come in. Come out of my mouth. <laughs> they're mildly entertaining, and that's about all. Entertaining, that's the word. <laughs> like, the thing that annoys me though, um, about Star Trek now, um, hey, I'm is the fact here. that although we had that sort of like, and you'll know exactly what I mean, um, as somebody who has grown up through seeing said, uh, things there is that have happened space in TV and cinema and mm -hmm. whatever, is the fact that. No matter Feel what nice. film you watched in like the, like, I'd say the 80s, the 90s, etc, etc, etc. Around those times, it was very much like, oh yeah, you are a man, therefore, you must like, be with every single woman that you want to be, and it's fine. Like, 
and they did that in Star Trek, and Kirk slept his way around like half the fucking galaxy of every galaxy that he went to. And then they did it in Next Gen, and they played. They didn't do it as much. They just kind of went, oh yeah, here's some love interests that he finds intellectually stimulating and just so happened to be hot. And it's like, that would be very rare occurrence most of the time, but okay. Um, <laughs> like, you know, throw in some people that you find so, like intellectually stimulating that aren't like supermodels um, and stuff like that. But we're still carrying, a, carrying that on in Star Trek today where it's like, oh yeah, they find them, this person intellectually stimulating and they're like a fucking hook hey, or whatever and it's like you know it's like come on just you know we don't need to like sleep with half the galaxy it's fine <sighs> we know we know about boldly going where no person has gone before but this is kind of taking the piss I'm so <laughs> tired of so what we're saying is space lothario oh. is kind of a just tired trope a by this stage well, yeah exactly <laughs> It's like, you know, Nexus space, like, sexual transmitted diseases. Oh, like, I, forgot, on, at least have I some... forgot there was a ventilation thing there. Oh, yeah. Um, remember, we looked at one and there was, like, nothing there. And then you went to tell me later on uh, one that we missed. And I was like, was there? Oh, yeah. Hey, Derek, we're playing a game in the background here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. We're actually just talking rubbish, and then it's like, oh yeah, there's, there's things are happening in the game, and we're completely ignore it. It's okay. We'll have a lot more focus uh, from the next not... episode. So we've, we've got the, like, the correct her... audio from when we were actually playing it, it the... from episode minutes, next get... one. No, three. That's the episode word. Next one. Good job, Rich. Richard graduated counting from the age of six. Um... Three is a higher number than two. I count for two. And um, I'm surprised that he just admits giving her way too many sleeping pills and there he didn't just read the bottle and that. go, oh, this is how many I should give her. Instead, he just went, yeah, let's uh, just KO her. <laughs> so, out you go. She's, You'll she's sleep well done. tonight. <laughs> Eternally. <coughs> and he's like, yep, okay. Oh, this is where I pretended that we're not in. Can you turn the light off in the bathroom? Is this is that what yeah, we're going yeah, to yeah. investigate now? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you could pick up those. Oh yeah. It is a fake candle, you were right. I love these fake plastic candles. Ah, cheers, Mr. Babe. I love these fake plastic candles. I will call you Kevin Babe. Oh yeah, I was seeing if you could throw them out the window. Oh yeah, there's a light switch there, isn't there? <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, trying to pull on the sink, he's just like, no. Back to the toilet. Look at that well-lit toilet bowl. <laughs> it flushes! It's gone. Yes! Keys. Key. Oh, pills. We know the pills flush. Oh, yeah, I tried to flush the present. <laughs> there isn't enough space oh, to drink you that. Oh, can't, you can't flush the present. Then you're like, I'll get it out of the packet and see if it will flush. There isn't enough space no. to drink that. It's frigging cloth, though. <laughs> I keep doing that every so often. I just keep... Doing a little cha 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 at the door there. Oh, yeah, and then I'll, I shut myself in here. And pretended you weren't in. Yeah. And I'm making sure I had a weapon. Then I accidentally put. Come on, I know you're. Accidentally pressed the pause menu. You. <laughs> yeah. I hate it when I do that, though, when it's like. Oh yeah, this button slightly next to this other button. Oh, I even done that, and it's like, I have no. A warrant. So, no. Open the door now. I, I, I know the feeling well. It's uh, fat thumbs. You asked for it. You should see me trying to text. Jesus. 
I mean, technically we didn't ask for anything. You are just barging in. <laughs> you asked for this. I didn't ask for anything. <laughs> and you broke the doorknob. He's a bleeding Anyone doorknob. Home? Why would you ask if anybody's home? You've just broken the door. After you barge in. Hello? Police. Come on out. I do think it's a bit daft that he's... Um, he plays the father and this cop. Because wouldn't that be a bit ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> We're not meant to know that yet. What the... Well, no, that's from the casting thing, so anybody could find Fucking out. Light switch. And feel free to go to the IMDb page. Oh, yeah. I try and shut him in. Um, you heard the man. He said, don't fucking move. Back into the shower we go. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. It's sort of sunken. The shower. Yeah. <laughs> But still, otherwise you, you know, just gonna get a lot of mildew around your window in that corner, aren't you? Oh yeah, he shot me then. He does have a gun. Oh, Jesus, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, fuck. Fuck. Is she having a nice little sing while she's on the toilet? I think she's in the shower. Ah, right. I have a little sing when I'm on to alert occasionally. Hmm. Oh no, she might be on the toilet. Just, oh. <laughs> just turn around, she's Not all now. up in okay. your grill. I mean, it's very dangerous when I was take, picking up a knife. <laughs> so, just spin me around. Oh, oh no. Give me that. I love how she mentions that she doesn't like you going through her things, like the drawer. You literally pick up a phone and go through it. And she's not even fussed. There's some she sat right there, you. maintaining eye contact with you the whole time. Sir, while you stood in the cupboard, which is a really weird thing. How did you and she's just like, yeah, this is completely natural. He's just stood in the cupboard and going through my phone. How did you spend your evening? Oh, I stood in a cupboard and went through my wife's phone. All right, sound, pal. You know, like you do. Yeah. Typical evening. Oh, thunder. I wasn't expecting a storm tonight. Well, maybe she'll have a storm later. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ho, ho. And that's why she made it to win him into bed. Little did she know. These pills are huge. Oh yeah, there you go. I try and put the pills in the dessert. In the bathroom. Why are you carrying the, those two plates of dessert into the bathroom? That's already got enough pills. Uh, no reason. Uh, next question. <laughs> Oh yeah, I put them both in just so I wouldn't get mixed up, it wouldn't matter. Just put a fucking knife in there, just like, there you go. Here's a knife in this mug too. <laughs> um. You call that a knife? This is a knife. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> I see you've played knifey spoony before. Like that friggin' soup oh. in um, oh, I was just thinking about it's like that. It's like a friggin' bowl is just like sat there. That was not a small bowl either. That bowl was at least like 10 inches. Because <laughs> it fit in thing, didn't it? Oh man. Yeah. And the moral of this story Kinda is dead. always well, look at so... your food All before right. eating it, just to be sure. Or if you find a metal bolt in it, just give it a chew. And it might be good for it. it might be good iron for you. I can't remember the last. Oh, time the I irony. <laughs> oh. Well, we have not lost our rhythm. <laughs> hey, come on, you were gonna come up with it, or I would have. It's better that I come up with it because you do it too often. <laughs> I do not. Yeah. You do. You definitely do. Babe. How many times have you come out with that mushroom <laughs> joke or one about chairs? What do you mean, one of our <laughs> chairs? 
Mm. About how you caught mm. with really bad puns for chairs. Mm. Can't think of any off the top of my head. <laughs> I do like mentioning <laughs> chairs a lot, though. Too you do like mentioning chairs too much. I can't really get a good angle on uh, on any in this game. On though. a chair. That's uh, <laughs> can't get a good angle on just sitting down head first on a chair somehow. I love you. I mean, there's that chair in the bedroom that you mentioned once. I see. There's a lot too. I did. Back at you. Oh, I did. That looked like a perfectly comfortable chair. We're having a little dance and a cuddle. Aww. Thanks for little that. do they know. That was nice. Well, little does one of them know. The other one definitely knows. But maybe not yet. I mean, you, you'll have to watch the rest of the series to figure out what the hell we're on about. What do you mean? He, he knows polite. that the guy's going to come in. I was talking about oh, stuff yeah. later. Oh, yeah, this is where I water the plant. No, I was on about the current thing that's happening, where it's like, it'll do one of them know that a guy's going to try and bang down the door. What's the difference between a current and a raisin deck? Um, Ow. I think it's the type. Gotta get this fixed, babe. Is it like because a get hurt. I think a current is a red grape, isn't it? And one is a green grape. Oh, is that it? Because one of them's... Because when you dry one out, it goes slightly orange, and the other one's red, so a raisin is the red one, I think. Yeah? I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, because they're a lot darker colour-wise. Yeah, that, that tracks. I'm with the police. What's Sultana, then? What? Me? Yes, you. Hands behind your back. Let's well, go. Well, maybe ask Sultana, maybe... <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at stuff now. <laughs> so, what is a sultana? Sorry for ruining your What's evening, pal. <laughs> help me. Will you come help me? I think this Will might be... My okay. Ah. Okay. 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 Raisins, sultanas, and currants are all types of dried grape. Raisins and sultanas are soft, sweet, and juicy, while currants are intense, sweet, and tangy. Raisins is typically the largest of the three. Look, so obviously one's red, know. one's Earth green, and breath. one's don't... another type of grape. I don't know. I don't know how many types of grape there is. Move. There's probably a lot more, because we only see, like, red or white ones. You're making there. a mistake this time. There's, there's probably a like, ton more. You can't do this. Maybe they're, they're not very nice. Maybe they're, like, too bitter as grapes. So we only ever see them as, like, the dried version. Ah, okay. So, the types of grape are green, red, black, yellow, and pink. So one must be pink. Please, just... You're think. under arrest for your father's murder. And or yellow. No, no, no. Maybe. Right. Shut up. And then one's you know green or red because I can't imagine them using black because black usually used for wine. I think. I won't tell anyone. Yeah, I think so. Like red wine. Um, I think we so. probably call it about here. He's too strong. I can't find him. Um, gotta find another way. We do, yeah. So that's uh, all we have time for. So, you know, if you have any idea about, um, I don't know, what types of grapes are, um, give us our old uh, comment on the grapevine. And, uh, oh, hey, man. Let us know. <laughs> good lad. <laughs> hey, come but on. That was, that. that was a good segue. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. happy with that. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Take care, have a good one, and uh, yeah. see you next time. Ta-da! Yeah, I will.